Before we start our discussion entitled Filipino Grievances Against Governor's Vote, let's identify first is who is Gregorio F. Zaidi. Gregorio F. Zaidi or Gregory. When we think of Gregory's idea, there is only one thing that comes to our mind that is fact that he is one of the country's foremost and well-known historians. The background of Gregorio F. Gregorio F. Zaidi as he was born in May 25, 1907, and died in October 31, 1988. He was a Filipino historian, multi-awarded author, and mayor from Pagsanhan, Laguna, in the Philippines. Zaidi was known as the dean of the Filipino historiographers. His He studied in the University of the Philippines for his Master of Works class during 1931 and, and the University of South Ultimates for his Bachelor of Arts and Doctor in Philosophy way back in 1934. In fact, without him, there will be such thing as International Association of Historian of Asia. And that's all of the background of Gregorio F. Zaidi. Let's proceed the historical... Let's see the historical context of the documents. So next is we have the historical context of the document. Governor Wood, an English person, was the reason behind this document. This text is taken from Gregorio F. Saidi and Sonia Saidi's Documentary Sources of Philippine History, and was originally published as Maximo M. Calau's Philippine Government under the Jones Law. The document was approved by the Commission on Independence on November 17, 1926. The document was a form of protest, particularly against Executive Order No. 37 and served as impeachment request for Governor Wood. He fueled Gregorio Zaidi, wrote this document under the language of English during American region in the Philippines. Philippine literature during the American region on 1898 to 1941, the revolutionists won against the Spaniards who colonized us for more than 300 years. Our flag was hoisted on June 12, 1898 and as a symbol of our independence. <laughs> Governor of the Meru 
province compromising the southern islands and Mindanao. Aside from being a head of the civil government, he is also the five district and the commanding general of the tax in the department of Mindanao and Sulu as well. This American flag symbolizes as a freedom, emblem of freedom, which means it is a feeling and behavior that show a desire to have. That's all. So Philippines and America promised that our country would be conserved and developed for the benefit of people, the females were patient and diligent in the past of meeting ambitions, even them because they trust the Americans. 20 years of civil government, people understanding and loyal cooperation, cognization of general goods participation in the liberation of Cuba, Filipinos expected that the spirit of cooperation they political emancipation would be complete. There was a, a train of assortation and arbitrary of acts resulted in recoupment recall, recall, of our autonomy and destruction of our constitution system. Reversal of America's Philippine policy. He refused to obey the law that was decided for the public good. Substituted his constitutional advisors for a group of military attached without legal standing in the government. In addition, reversed the policy of Filipinizing that stands for the government avoiding Americas, even though Filipinos who are registered at the border. Contribution and relevance of the documents to the grand narrative of the Philippine history. Give us essential information for the foreign colonizations of the Philippines. The Philippines was ruled under the Mexico based vice royalty of a new Spain. After that, this the colonial 
was directly government by Spain, Spanish ruled in 1898. Knowing the condition of Filipinos, Filipinos often experience hardship in their lives and leaders are supposed to help them instead be put in lower because for management of government, we can dole this property, but government gives snatching the money of our country and use it for their own goods. Manipulations of the policy and laws, they have easily manipulated the laws. In 1902, America forced to suppress the Filipino independence movement and Congress passed the Philippines Organic Act to establish civilian control. Among other provisions, the Act authorized two Filipino resident commissioners. Show only brief preview and on the important events that happened in the Philippine history. Magellan reaches the Philippines on March 28, 1522. In 1896, civil and armed campaign for independence from Spanish rule begins. In 1988, revolutionary forces under Emilio Aguinaldo and problem independence. So, in relevance, we become independent people because of the past. We learn from our mistakes. Wood will help them in establishing a Filipino government, but unfortunately, the said letter used power and office to manipulate the Filipinos to suffer. We learn from the previous government, and today, 